Hey guys, welcome back to another clip of Schach Manuel Lernen. Today with the last of the checkmate series, how to checkmate with two bishops. So we have here two bishops and now first of all we need to coordinate them, which means set up a prison for black. So we play this move that he is in this prison. And now, let's say, if he goes here, we will go with bishop here. That we have here, this prison, to this side, so he needs to go to the left side. And if he goes here, then we coordinated already our bishops. So you can imagine the prison, like with queen and king, and just rook and king. So now he is trapped within this range here. And if he goes voluntarily back, we will see it a bit later. If he stays here, then we can't move any bishop. Otherwise the prison will be open. So we just come closer with the king. And close with the king. So now we take away this square. So he has to go to one of these three squares. And let's say if he goes here, we can make the prison smaller by bishop here. Because now when we imagine the prison is like that, there is here a small gap between the two bishops. But the king can't come out because of our king. So if he goes there, we just come closer with the bishop. Not giving a check because otherwise he can just run out. So we just go there. And now we made the prison a bit smaller for him. So now he's stacking on this range. So if he goes back, then we come close with the king again. And now he needs to go back somewhere. And now we make the prison smaller again, like take this square away. And if he goes here, we will follow with the next bishop. So the idea is with progress, both bishops are staying next to each other. Now, he's down to only a few squares. So we make the prison smaller. And even smaller. So now he only has two squares. Now we have to be careful that we don't get a stalemate at the end. So if he goes here... Um, if we would move this bishop here, then it would be automatically a stalemate. So here you can pause the video a bit if you want, when you want to try it by yourself. So the idea is we move the bishop here because it forces black to go to the corner and after that, we can come close with the king. He has only one square left. We give a check now with the bishop. We guard with the other bishop the escape route for his king. When he goes to corner, we can deliver a checkmate. So summarized from the beginning, First, we need to coordinate the bishops that they are next to each other. And then we make sure that we come with the king closer. And then we advance with the bishops. And we always make sure that he will stay in his prison. Now, next step. It's already smaller, the prison for him. And then at the end, 
normally you put him, him in a corner one of these four squares and here you just need a time move like with king and rook which means he is forced to do his only move and then yeah we force him there giving a check and finally a checkmate so it needs a bit time like 19 moves but when you know the technique you will never be afraid to draw this position and with this checkmate pattern i wish you a wonderful weekend take care and stay healthy